Good morning. We're going to get started with our math lesson today. And for Number Talks today, we're going to read um, 10 Tiny Turtles. Okay, so I'm going to put it down on the desks and move the camera down so that you can see it better. Okay, 10 Tiny Turtles. Ten little eggs nestled in the sand, then crack, 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 out they pop. Ten tiny turtles go flip, flap, flop. They're off to explore. What will they find on, on dear, oh no, one's left behind. Nine tiny turtles splash into the sea, past the crabs in their rocky pool, where it's nice and safe and the water's cool. But they're young and fast. What will they find? Oh dear, oh no, one's left behind. Eight tiny turtles join a game of hide and seek. The striped, stripy clownfish love to play. What a perfect way to start the day. But on they push, there's more to find. Oh dear, oh no, one stays behind. Seven tiny turtles watch a seahorse race. Their body, bodies curled and feather light. They're always such a pretty sight. But it's time to go, there's more to find. Oh dear, oh no, one's left behind. Six tiny turtles admire the pretty coral. The tiny fish all run and hide while starfish hug their rocks with pride. The turtles pass. There's more to find. Oh dear, not again. One's left behind. Five tiny turtles see a sunken ship, eight waving arms, and two big eyes. It's an octopus and he's quite a size. The turtles wave, but there's more to find, and yet again, one's left behind. Four tiny turtles see a swirl of bubbles. It's a passing friend, a big blue whale, and he scoops them up with his giant tail. A tickly treat, a lucky find, but oh dear, oh no, one's left behind. Three tiny turtles hear a friendly sound. A dolphin pod goes dancing by, all twisted and turns and leaps so high. The turtles smile, but there's more to find. Oh dear, you guessed, one's left behind. Two tiny turtles suddenly alone. Their little friends, where did they go? They see lots of fish, but a turtle, no. They've had enough. It's time for home. But one swims faster, leaving one alone. One tiny turtle feeling very small. Don't worry, turtle. It'll be okay. Some helping hands are on their way. Ten tiny turtles now safely get back together. They've made new friends in the deep blue sea. Now they're happy. Home forever. Ever. So the big octopus helped them all get back together. The end. Okay, so now we're going to start our math page for today. So you're going to need this paper. And we're going to work on the groups of six and groups of seven. And I'm going to use crayons today for counters, okay? So I'm going to put six crayons over here and seven crayons over here. So you can use crayons, you can use your little blocks, whatever you have that you want to use. But we're going to put six of something over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and now I'm going to put seven crayons over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so which group has more, six or seven? Right? This, which one has more is seven. The group of seven has more. The group of six has less. Okay? Now, um, 
How do we know? Because we counted, right? And six is less than seven because seven has one more, right? I put up one more finger for seven, okay? If I ask you which one was less, we would say six because I have one less finger than seven or one less crayon than seven, okay? So six is less than seven. Seven is greater than six. All right, now. Now, what, what if I wanted to not count these and I needed to figure it out? How could I figure that out? Could I um, put my crayons in a design to figure it out? Okay, maybe I put one there, one here, one here, one here, and then I have two in the middle, okay? So let's do the same thing over here and we'll see if we have the same number of crayons, more or less. So I put one at the sides, one at the top, one at the bottom, and this one only has two in the middle. But if I put these, how many are in the middle? Three, so I can look now and say, oh, this side has more because I have three in the middle and only two in the sides. And I didn't have to count them that way. I could see with my eyes that there's, this one has more and this one has less. Okay, so you could move, if you had counters, you could put your counters in a certain spot and see, and do it the same on the other side and see which one has more or less and you wouldn't even have to count them. Okay, so now let's turn that paper over to, to the back side that looks like this. Okay, and I'm just gonna, tell you how many crayons to put on this side or counters, whatever you're using, okay? We're gonna put some on this side and some on this side. Okay, so let's put five on this side. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And let's put six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And which side has more, five or six? Six side, right? Okay, now let's take those off. And this time let's put seven on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's put five on this side. One two, three, four, five. Okay, which side has more this time? Seven or five? Seven, okay. Now, let's do, let's see. What if I did one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five. Which side has more? Six or five? Six, right? Okay, and that's, so I want you to play around with that. You could even ask people in your family, put some on this side and some on this side and ask them, which one's more, this side or this side, okay? So it's a game you could play, kind of. All right, and that is all of our math lesson today. Don't forget to um, practice counting to 100. And remember that video is on the Schoology page um, where you can sing along with the song. Okay, and I will see you back here for reading. I'll see some of you today for our team's meeting. The rest of you I'll see tomorrow. So thank you for your hard work.